The west coast of America has a thriving vampire scene, so I left New York and headed for Los Angeles. My first encounter just outside LA was with a girl who has an exceptional role within the blood drinking community. The Near Dark Pub is a vampire bar out in Hollywood. Every year they name a new spigot girl. A spigot out here is considered to be a place where water runs out of. They call that a spigot. That's why they gave me that nickname. And maybe because I was the one that donated the most blood within a certain amount of time and made bumper stickers after it too. When I went to school, no, I wasn't popular. I knew all the outcasts. The popular kids didn't like me, and I just didn't like them either. One of the groups that I did hang out with at my school were um, the basic goth group. They were a major outcast. I mean, they didn't hang out with anybody else. As I further got into the goth scene, I was with a vampire goth friend of mine, and we were talking about how she had a donor which she drank blood from. and. It was a really close friend of hers, and I decided why not. So that's when I started, and I let her drink for me. What did she do? She cut me, and from there she just drank my blood. Being drank from, it's not exactly a reality type um, high. It's a spiritual, high, relaxed type feeling. I've been donating blood for about five years, ever since I was 15. Do your parents know what you do? Um, actually, no, they don't. <laughs> my parents have no idea. Uh, my mother has seen my scars before, but she asked me what happened, and I'd tell her, oh, I accidentally scraped myself when I was picking up a box or something like that. I wouldn't exactly tell her how I got it. Tonight is Halloween, and I'm going to the Near Dark Pub in Hollywood. It takes me about an hour and a half to two hours to get there, depending on traffic. Everybody gathers there from around the area of Hollywood and drinks and has fun and also drinks blood. We are now walking into the Near Dark Pub. Near Dark Pub is actually a lot of fun. They play a lot of industrial and goth type music. They have candles everywhere and they also do other unusual things like uh, light fires in the bar. When I go there and I donate, I'll go up to one of my friends and just say, hey, you know, do you want to go out back and or do you want me to donate? And usually we'd talk for a second and then we'd go, usually into a dark back corner and go ahead and do it, or donate blood. She's had clothes on, she's been in a smoky place, so anything that's going to go into her body is going to pick up anything that's on the surface of her skin and would wind up going into her. So first, first we have to sterilize the area. <laughs> right over here? Is that good? Mm -hmm. Right there? Sure. All right. Are you fed from Amanda in the past, Sue? Yes, I have fed off Amanda before. She's very nice and sweet. Whenever I donate, my friends use on me diabetic needles or sometimes they use razors or knives. I've had people tell me that my blood is tastes really good to them. It's not bad or bitter. Feel like to drink that blood. It feels very, very, very good. <laughs> it takes a while for 
the effects of it to take effect, but the beginning of it, the actual taking feels very, very good because it's the foreknowledge. I know what I'm going to feel like in just a little while. And that should do. I don't want to take too much. On donating blood, I would do it not all the time. I had to stop uh, because of my scars because I had too many of them and they weren't all the way healed yet. And I didn't want to get myself cut up anymore until those other ones healed because it'd be just having to handle every single one of them all the time and just I don't want to have to deal with having to patch myself up all the time. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go back in now and rejoin everyone. I've been told that finding donors in the vampire community is not easy, and Amanda is considered extremely valuable for those like Sue, who refer to themselves as blood addicts. Even though there is no addictive component in human blood, feeding any type of craving can be rewarding psychologically, and some people will go to extraordinary lengths to do so.